Okay, so we are going to begin our freight train assignment. So the first part of our assignment is we need to create the environment that our train is in. And we want to think of the environments that we saw in the book Freight Train by Donald Cruz. So in Freight Train, we know that the train went over a bridge, crossing trestles, a bridge. We know that the train went in front of a city, buildings. And we know that the train went through tunnels. So you want to pick which one. Do you want to draw a tunnel? Maybe you can put some mountains like this one. Do you want to draw a city? Or do you want to draw a bridge? And the bridge is really fun because you have these nice like zigzag lines you could put in there um, to be really creative. Now if you're going to draw a bridge, you need to make um, your bridge somewhere here but still have space to put the train. So see how the train's on top of the bridge? Make sure we still have space for the train and the train isn't going off the top of our paper. Now if you're doing the city, you can put it lower on the paper and the tunnel, you can put it lower on the paper. Okay, so I'm going to begin. I'm going to pick one of these, a city, a tunnel, or a bridge, and I'm going to begin creating my piece. And I think I'm going to create a bridge for mine. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to draw it lightly with a pencil. Draw light till I get it right. So I got my pencil. And it doesn't have to be like the bridge that you saw in the book. You can kind of create your own bridge. Begin drawing. And this is where I'm going to draw for my bridge so that that way I have room for my train up here, okay? thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to outline my bridge with a sharpie with a black permanent marker. This is going to make my line stand out. Okay so I've outlined it with sharpie so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to add texture to my bridge. Now if you were making a building you would probably put windows and things like that in your building. If you're making a tunnel, you can start adding the background. So my bridge is going to be made out of brick. So I'm going to make, I'm going to draw some brick here. Okay, so here's my bridge and now I can add a sky. So you want to think about what your sky is going to look like. Is it going to be sunset? Is it going to be cloudy? Is there going to be a rainbow in the sky? What is yours going to look like? Okay, so now my job is to color this in. You guys can choose crayons or markers to color it in. So before I do that though, I just want to erase all my pencil marks so I don't see the pencil anymore. And all I can see is the Sharpie, so no one knows that I ever used a pencil. They think I did all of this with the Sharpie. Okay, and you can begin coloring. So when you use a marker, make sure it's nice and controlled. Same thing with a crayon. You don't want to scribble in every direction. Same direction. Hey, what I want you guys to notice is how I outlined my sky so that way when I go to color it in, this outline kind of gives me a little fence. Um, it helps me stay inside my lines a little bit better rather than not having that. So I outline and then when I go to color, it's so much easier to stay in the lines because that outline really helps me. It's like a little, it's a little barrier that keeps me in.
Okay guys, so I have just finished with my marker and I want my bridge to be gray, but I don't have a gray marker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a gray crayon and use the crayon for my bridge. And that is okay because I said you can use markers or crayons for this assignment. And that means you can put both of them in your image. It doesn't have to be all markers or all crayons. This is called mixed media when we use two different media. So I'm using markers and crayons. A lot of artists like to do mixed media because it gives it allows them to do what they want. I couldn't have a gray bridge if I was only allowed to use markers. I'd have to pick a different color. But I wanted it gray. So I use a crayon. And that adds kind of a cool effect how the bridge is now different from the background because it's a different media. Okay, so now my background is complete. I've made my bridge, the environment my train is going to be in, and now I need to start creating my train. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get a stencil of the front of my train and I'm going to trace that stencil onto a black sheet of paper. And I'm going to try to line it up against the corner rather than putting it right in the middle. I'm going to line it up right here on the edge. And I'm just going to take a regular pencil and trace. I can see pencil on black paper. So I hold down my stencil with my other hand while this one goes around it. And what I'm doing is I'm drawing on the black paper. I'm not drawing on the stencil. Lift it up and now I can see my outline. So now I will take my scissors and I will begin cutting it out. Now this is a tricky cut. There's a lot of parts to this train. So you really gotta keep remembering to turn your paper and not your scissors. If you need to cut a piece off, cut it off and then go back in. Alright, so I can still see some of my pencil marks there, so I can just take an eraser and erase. Or, you could just flip it over and make your train go this way instead, rather than go this way. So you pick which direction you want your train in. Do you want it to go this way, or do you want it to go this way? Okay. So I want mine going this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue it down. I'm going to flip it over, I open my glue bottle, and I squeeze, and I'm going to draw around the edges. I'm going to make a frame, then I'll put dots in the middle, dots not lots. And I'm going to lay it right on my bridge here. There we go, and I can recycle my scraps. Okay, now I need to start making the other components to the train. So I need to think of the colors that I saw in the book Freight Train. So in Freight Train we saw a bunch of colors. We saw purple, blue, and green, yellow, orange, and red. So all of the colors of the rainbow, okay? Um, so you are going to have all those colors. Now they're going to come to you just in rectangles like this. You can choose to keep them just as a rectangle or you can change their shape. So. I'm actually going to draw a different shape here on my violet one. And then I'll cut it out. What my violet car is going to look like on my train now. So then I can put violet here next to the front. Okay, so I'm going to cut out all of my cars to my train first before I glue them down to make sure they all fit. And if they don't fit, then I have to make some smaller. So I'm going to get to work on that. I have made all of my cars. So now I'm going to put them 
in the order that I want. So I think I'm going to do violet, then blue, then green, yellow, orange, and then red. Now if you see, look, uh oh, my red's too big. So that means I have to make some of these smaller. So this is where I just go back in and I make them smaller. If yours don't, if yours all fit, then you don't have to make them smaller. So I just made my violet one a little tinier, see if they'll fit. There we go. Now they're all going to fit. So now I can flip them all over and I can put frames of glue on them. So I like to lay mine out like this so that way I can just put them right back down where they belong and I don't have to worry about where they go. I can already see them all laid out even though they're not glued yet. So I know the blue one has to go here, the green one has to go here and all I do is flip it over, glue. Flip it over, glue. Okay, so now that I've done that, now what I can do is I can draw the wheels on. So I'm just going to use a black Sharpie. And if you guys notice, I raised the cars up from my bridge. That way I have space for wheels. So all I'm going to do is draw circles. And it's going to go a little bit on top of the car and a little bit below. And then I'm going to color it all in with my black permanent marker. Okay, so here's my train and if you wanted to add any little details into your train cars, you can. Or you can just leave them be. Totally up to you. So I'm just going to do that with a Sharpie. And the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to make some smoke coming out. And if you wanted to color in that smoke with a crayon, you can. Otherwise you can just leave it as lines. So now I have gray in the bridge and gray in my smoke. So I've used gray twice. All right, now we have a complete mixed media image. We've used marker, I've used crayon, and I've used cut up paper to create this lovely freight train artwork.